Are you feeling stuck? Sick of not going places in life? Well, I'm gonna run you through the new CST Dragon Claws today. I'm Caleb from Off-Road Addiction and here today I have the 39s and the 37. Newly released size in the Dragon Claw range. And I'm gonna say it first. Once you try these tires, you're not gonna wanna go back. They're designed to work in the Rainforest Challenge conditions and they work really, really well. Deep lugs, good compound, all the good stuff you need. But honestly, after seeing them in action here in New Zealand and in Malaysia at the Borneo Safari, you will be absolutely blown away with how well these tires work. They have been designed to be so aggressive that you don't need to use a huge amount of horsepower. You don't need a whole lot of wheel speed. And if you do throw that wheel speed in there, you better hold on to your hat and make sure you've got some decent CVs and some good diffs because these things are gonna hook up like nothing else you've ever driven on before. Now, we tested out these 39s at the Auckland Off-Road Adventure Park. Now, if you haven't been there, it is a very sandy clay-based park. So it was good for us to test out what we needed to in somewhat of a varied terrain. But then of course we went over to Malaysia for the Borneo Safari and got to see them in completely different terrain as well. And there was a couple of instances where the only rig that was running these Dragon Claws was the only one to drive the course without winching. And that was the moment that it dawned on me that these tires are going to be the next thing if you want to take your rig to the extreme or if you're competing in winch challenges or whatever you do these tires are very incredible at what they do they just flat out work there is no denying it so these new tires were designed by cst and blank designs in malaysia my good friend jared keong helped a lot with the input on design. After many years of competing in the Rainforest Challenge events, he's got a lot of knowledge on tires and he came to the table, brought that knowledge with him and helped design this super aggressive tire. Now, to give you a bit of a background on Gerard and his input with CST, he also had input with the CL18M, the Land Dragon M spec, which was designed for Rainforest Challenge conditions. Now these, he's designed to be more aggressive. So I'll say it once and I'm going to say it again time after time. CST absolutely have their compounds dialed. So this compound is a nice like firm compound. It's not quite like a sticky tire. Um, but what they've done with their compound is if you're going to run it on the road, which they do quite often in Malaysia for Rainforest Challenge and those types of events, um, the compound actually hardens as it gets more heat into it so you get more life out of them on the road and they handle a little bit nicer. It's a cool feature because if you're wanting to put these types of tyres on your rig, you don't always want to have two sets of tyres. So occasionally it's nice to be able to drive to wherever you're going and drive home and not have to worry too much about your tyres melting into the earth because that's never a good thing and it gets really expensive. So CST have done the hard yards for you so that you can drive there and not lose your tires. Anyway, the real reason you're here is to get a little bit more information on the CL21M Dragon Claw. So this one here is the 37. Now there's a 37, 12 and a half, 16. It measures in at 935 mils, unmounted of course, which translates to 36.8 inches. We all know you're curious to see how much these things weigh. So I threw them on the scales and they came in at bang on. 42 kilos, which isn't too bad for a tire with this amount of rubber on it and this much aggression packed into it. But a lot of good features, good technology, and it's rather lightweight. It's got a very solid feeling sidewall and they will actually take a little bit of time to break in. And once they're broken in, they are gonna be seriously impressive to watch. Um, we've only had these 39s out on a few runs they're still fairly new. Well, I would still call them new because it takes a little bit of time to break these tires in. And it's always very, very hard to judge a tire on its first trip out. But taking these tires out, brand spanking new, I was seriously impressed with how well they performed. The vehicles we put them on drove up some things I've never seen other vehicles drive up without winching. So now for the 39. So it's a 39, 12 and a half, 16 inch rim also. And it comes in at 983 mils unmounted, which translates to 38.7 inches. Uh, these are obviously mounted. These are on a 16 by 8 rim, and they measure out at 993 mils. 
uh, very low pressure at the moment. I think there's about 10 PSI in the tire. Uh, and that is bang on 39 inches. So these are a true to size tire. They are a very big tire. Uh, when you bought them on your rig thinking, yeah, I've got space for them. They take up a lot of space. Um, definitely worth having them though. Now we also threw these on the scales uh, before we put the rims on. They came in at bang on 50 kilos each. So it's quite a lot of rotating mass, but at the end of the day, it's actually not that bad because you've got a tire that's designed to work with low RPM, like low RPM of your wheels. Your wheels can spin slow and you're still gonna have that traction. They clear fantastically, they just work. These center lugs have about 1.1 inches, which is about 28 millimeters of tread. They're ridiculous through the center blocks. And these outer lugs are just wild. We're heading towards tractor tire territory when we ran these tires at home in New Zealand, I was very impressed with the amount of traction we had on sidelings, uphill, downhill. Now we were in a slippery clay, sandy based terrain. They worked well in the sand hill climbs, they worked well in the clay, and they worked well in the gritty mixed stuff. I haven't had a chance to test them in the snow or on icy conditions, but most of the time, you're not gonna pick an aggressive mud tire to go wheeling in the snow. They are designed for extreme competition use, but there is absolutely no reason you can't put them on your rig to go out social wheeling on club runs or anything you want. And I do think, I genuinely think this 37 is gonna be the next tire of choice for those guys that are serious about sticking themselves on the podium or just going into ridiculous places to get stuck. Now, whether or not you choose to get into a 37 or a 39, I do not think you're gonna be upset for a split second. And if you do decide to get some, make sure you tag CST Tires Adventure on Instagram and Facebook, and make sure you tag us because I really wanna see more rigs running these tires because they are seriously impressive and they make everything look staunch. That's enough from me and we'll see you guys on the next video. We've got the CL98 Mud King tires to review next.